What's up, YouTube? It's your boy back, Southern Smoke Boss. You already know what it is. Hey, today we're gonna uh, got us a nice small beef brisket flat from Sam's. Gonna cook it up on a smoker all day. Let's go ahead and. I mean, a lot of people say you don't have to wash beef off, but me and my family, I mean, I prefer to wash the beef off. You can do as you like, whatever you want. And we can do what we want, you know? So I'm going to wash it off. You know, and I'm going to uh, pat it dry with paper towels. Today I'm just gonna use a basic combination of that I got from uh, Franklin's Manifest when I uh, went there a couple years ago in Texas of extra virgin olive oil and salt and pepper. So just load it down with salt and pepper. And I'm gonna cover it with olive oil so it sticks. Me, well, it doesn't need too much trimming, so I didn't trim none. Don't need no trimming at all. Keep all the fat. You see the nice fiber and the marbles through the meat. Okay, so first I'm gonna put the salt on. Put much salt you want. Just cover it with salt. It'll be okay. Smoke will get it. I'm gonna cook it on nice and slow, about 275 in the red heat. Whoa. You know I like pepper a lot, but I didn't want to pour it on like that. So I'm gonna have to be careful with the pepper to hold the top on. It's okay. You know, adjust fire. Cover it up with pepper. Cover it up. Just cover it. Trust me, you won't go wrong. You want enough so it gets that flavor through the. You can also try using, you know, fresh black peppercorn. I just don't have any in stock right now. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. I do a fatty side last, cause I'm gonna put the fat side up anyway, so the fat can drip down on it. Just put another coat of olive oil on the fat side. Salt it down, just like we did the other side. And that's that kosher salt, I use that because it cuts into the meat, you know. I like the, uh, the regular salt. And I'm just gonna cover it with black pepper. As I say again, I got this one, you know, Franklin's Barbecue out in Austin, Texas. Stood in line one day for four hours. Hey, if you ever take a trip out there, I suggest you check it out. It's down on like 10th or 11th Street somewhere. Can't remember the exact location. It's been a, about a year and a half since I've been. So it's the closest I can get to it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go out here. I already got the smoker heated up. We're gonna go ahead and go out here and put it on smoke. Go ahead and stick it on. Gonna put it over here. Okay. 
All right, uh, let's go ahead and check on the brisket. Come pretty long. Let's see it's starting to see how the black pepper to come crum caramelize on it. Be a nice smoke at 275. Been going right now for three hours. I think we got about a good four or five more hours. So the brisket been cooking about eight hours unwrapped. I'm gonna cook it on in the house. Wrap it up. See, it has shriveled up. So, let's go ahead and take it in the house. Wrap it up. It's some full. See, that's that pepper I told you about. Don't worry about that. Still looks nice. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I'm cooking it at about 225 right now. So, me, I like that olive oil taste. So, I'm going to put a little more olive oil down so it just doesn't, you know, so it has the. Cause you know, uh, brisket don't have a lot of grease. It's a really lean meat. Not sure if you guys knew that. You know. Smells good. Okay, we'll go ahead and wrap her up. And I'm gonna uh, double wrap it. Just so I don't lose any of my juices. You can see my temper still, 225. I'm gonna try to bump it up about 2, 250. What's up, Hey, I'm about to pour this brisket off. I'm gonna put it in my pan, wrap it up, cause you know it's gonna keep cooking. I'll just take a quick, Quick peep at it when we get in the house. Alright, let's see what we got. I'm not gonna cut into it until later on. Probably late tonight. You know it's still cooking right now. You and I know it. What you guys think? Nice bark. Break on apart. I think we may have something. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Hey, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Just let it go ahead and rest and keep cooking. Well, we're gonna sit and let them cool on down. So we we'll go ahead and slice. The knife is pretty sharp, so I'm gonna put my hand on there. Had a <laughs> no accident earlier. <laughs> Cut my hand. Look, this is that knife. So I'm kind of, let me get a fork and kind of skid out of there. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't get a really thick brisket. But you can see that nice smoke ring going down there. And let's taste and see what we got. Hmm. Pretty good. Nice and well done. Mm hmm.